hey welcome back guys to the final part of this project uh, guys uh, in pre previous video our connection uh, actually we lost our connection internet connection therefore I have logged in again and just I uh, pasted the mail function code from uh, you know we had that code here after the HTML on PayPal underscore success dot PHP page so I just copy uh, cut it from there and just pasted it here I mean inside the PHP block so I hope it will work now just we save changes and now come back to order something on our website main website so we should see something I mean we'll simply uh, order this project I mean this one 500 laptop price is 500 so we'll order this product go to cart see this is here and we will just add three quantity we'll update the cart 1500 is total price subtotal we'll click checkout the person is already logged in we logged uh, it is logged in from previous video we'll check ok paypal with paypal now I have a little bit uh, I mean fast internet connection so it is working fine now so pay with paypal now you know you can see item number is 9 per item price is 500 and three quantities is there so therefore uh, total becomes fifteen hundred dollars now I will just simply say Wali Khan is my password uh, password for that personal test at shop.com account test account so we'll log in and we'll order this product just click pay now and now the order is being processed by PayPal it will be complete and after that the person will go back to the success page yeah that's done order is done now the person will automatically be redirected to success page and it's here welcome aw operation at gmail.com my email and your payment was successful go to your account they go to their account so they can see now the picture is also here because we removed that uh, other user previously we had so now we will come back to our email and check whether we have received the email or not and you can see here the inside because you know the gmail has uh, different tables for different kind of emails so in the update step there we have received this email you know you can see one email is sales we will click this you can see this is from sales you know sales at online tutoring com. this is our email and the subject is order details and I will click it will open it and you can see hello dear Abdul Wali my name in the customer I mean the customer name is Abdul Wali so you can see whoever is the customer there will be their name you know written here in the email and they will receive their own name and we say your order here uh, you order some products on our website online or start and that in this please fire you find your order details your order will be processed shortly thank you your order details from online store.com sorry online tutoring.com Dell pink laptop quantity is three paid amount is fifteen hundred dollars invoice number is this one unique one and this is the one is the uh, uh, that I mean please go to your account and see your order details click here to log into your account thank you for ordering that and you can give your address here below now uh, and here is some problem I think in this thing so we can simply add some call spent to the first TD and also make it center so just we will go to this same page and inside this we will say TR will be align equal to center and TD will have some call spent call spent 3 that's it <coughs> save page and this <coughs> this td will also have align center and the last one will also have align center attribute this is attribute to make the information to center align so that's it now once again we will order another thing just go here in this 900 go to cart and say two quantities update the cart 
price is 1800 now check out pay with paypal and here it 1800 is the price total and two quantities therefore because the per item price is 900 log into our account again we are testing with things again and again so we can clearly understand everything what we are going to learn and what we have done and so pay now payment will be completed and the customer will be redirected automatically to our success page now that's done and uh, just within a few seconds person has been redirected here to this page success paypal success page and go to their account they click their orders they can see all of the orders and here we will check out another email here you can see one more emails from sales order details you can see here uh, hello dear Abdul Wali and that's the same thing Samsung camera was ordered quantity is 2 and 1800 is the total paid amount and invoice number is this another one and you can see this is the new uh, I mean the previous order so this person has two emails from the same company and we needed to actually make this one I mean five five we needed to add six call span or five call spans at least to this one I mean to this TD so it would work fine okay last time once again I have saved this save changes and last time I will once again order one more product yeah that's done now go back and we'll just this time we will buy this mobile 450 is its price and we'll say quantity is 4 update cart 1800 to becomes total check out and with PayPal the person is already logged in therefore the checkout page is coming directly if the person was not logged in so there would be login page now once again last time total becomes 1800 and one price one item price is 450 but the quantity is 4 therefore total becomes 1800 login to paypal and after that simply will pay click pay now pay now <coughs> and that's done the order is done now page will be refreshed and redirected to another one now that's done welcome payment has been done now go back to see and there is one more email you can see it's become three the same email because coming from the same now it's just fine and looking really nice you can see you know hello dear Abdul Wali you are ordered at this website you are ordered details from online tutoring.com product was Nokia tablet for its quantity total paid amount becomes 1800 and this is unique invoice number and the other details are here that's just fine and working nice superb so this we have done these all things you know and uh, this is the website this is its admin panel and the customer account you can see this is the customer interface and we have all the tables uh, you know inside our C panel and things like that so now if you want to actually you know if you want to if you want to if you actually want uh, it to to be working in the real environment 
then very simply uh, on the payment.php page just change this address this one I mean https.www.sandbox.paypal.com just remove the sandbox from here you know just the sandbox I mean just remove this sandbox so it will be working in the real environment and just change this paypal email address that we have added the testing one just remove this and put your real paypal uh, I mean email so you will receive payments from people in real world real world environment so that's it after this video I will come back and will give you the final summary of this course stay tuned